<laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, friends. Hey, everybody. Here we are. Sasquatch Big Yeah. Big fort. <laughs> big foot. Not big Emily fart. Not <laughs> big fart. Right back there. No, <laughs> Hey guys, so we're here out um, out doing an excursion in our secret place on the Blackfeet Reservation where it is a huge hot spot for uh, Bigfoot Sasquatch activity. Is that a bird sound? Dang. <laughs> All right, with a cow. Carolyn's gonna tell us a little bit about what we're, uh, what we're up to. Okay, so we've been hiking. Um, uh, Hurricane force winds. Nah, it's pretty windy here, but uh, we're having a good time. The sun comes out every now and then. So we uh, promoted a fundraiser called the Sasquatch Hike. Hey friends, Leilani here with Iron Trail Creative. I got a quick announcement. We have a fundraiser hike coming up on Saturday, June 11th, and it is a Special workshop. It is the Sasquatch Hike workshop on Bigfoot research, some of the stories and the hot spots here on the reservation. Some of the things that we have learned through our own research. Uh, this is for our Pagani Bigfoot Storytelling Project YouTube channel. In case you don't know about our channel, please go and subscribe and watch a lot of those stories. We've got great stories here on the Blackfeet Reservation. I hope to see some of you all locals coming out to support this effort and especially um, put your money to a good cause. We've been doing this for almost two years and it's been out of pocket and we would love to raise money to give honorariums and merchandise to our storytellers and to also buy merchandise so that we can invest the money back into the channel and back into more of the, the stories that you love to hear. This is kind of one of the uh, merchandise items. This is our new logo that was created by us. And so we're hoping to get you know hats, um, hoodies, t-shirts, stickers, whatever else. We're also going to start a GoFundMe account to raise money for our channel. So we're hoping some of you all will help out with that. And for now, we do have a Venmo. If you're wanting to donate to us, you can Venmo. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Would love to hear from you. Hope this is a, a success. And if it's something that you would like to see more of, we will schedule another Sasquatch hike in the future or maybe more. Have a good one. Get outside. Get outdoors. And so we um, invited people. With the Sasquatch and right yeah, here. Yeah, right here. So we invited people to come make a donation and uh, come on the hike. And the reason why is we're raising money for this channel. And all of these lovely people behind us have, have donated. donated. Donators! Yay! Yes. Let's give a shout out. And uh, and one of uh, a few of the people on the hike are actually subscribers to our channel. To our channel. Oh my God! All of you guys are right, so, right, right, right Yeah, right. all you subscribe. Or, yeah, we, we all people. of them are subscribers. So all you subscribers out there, we're gonna plan this fun. Yeah, again. we're gonna have another one in July and in August. We've already had people donate uh, this week that cannot be on the hike, but they believe in our cause. Yay, shout out to them. So we want because to. we don't like to take a story and not, and not give, give back. back. Yeah. So, if, so. A, if a person is generous enough to share their encounter with us, we want to provide them a little honorarium in respect for what they have been willing yeah. to do for the, the channel and share their story for others to, to hear um, out there in uh, Bigfoot country. Our day started out with heavy wind and misty rain that blew out of the northwest in the high mountain elevation of the Rocky Mountains. It is what we as Blackfoot call the backbone of the world. As we hit the trail, the roar of the wind was heard at a slight distance 
through the aspen trees that covered us like a sheltered tunnel. Suddenly, we were spilled out into an open meadow where the gust pushed us back into a tree line where we took the opportunity to share stories and figure out an alternate route to escape that intrusive gust. A detour through the trees fostered a moment of Bigfoot search etiquette. Carrie Lynn took a moment to teach a proper Sasquatch whoop and holler, and each person who was brave enough took a stab at it. After one force pull, great Bigfoot whoop, we stood and listened and listened for a few moments for a holler back. Nothing but cow moans in the distance, but a few of us heard what was clearly a drawn out howl sound that was nothing like a cow. What could that be? We merely glanced at each other with eyebrows raised and mystery all over our faces. A short nod here and there and verbal acknowledgement. And then we tracked our way up to the top of the ridge. Oh my God, what a sight. The meadow filled with bright lupines, shooting stars, camas flowers, and yellow sunflowers. The mountains watched us at a near distance with blue sky patterned with a few clouds at one end and dark gray mist at the other. The wind had settled down to a gentle breeze and the sun poured over us and the earth's living room came alive. We took our seats on the dirt rock plant beds and spontaneously shared our thoughts for what we felt like an entire afternoon. And now let's hear from our friends from the first Sasquatch workshop hike. Go ahead, Leilani. Okay, hey everybody, we're here with um, <laughs> Carla Bird. We're really honored and happy that she could join us. She is the president at Blackfeet Community College right here on our reservation. So we're really honored that she would come out on our Bigfoot Sasquatch hike and to support us in our fundraiser. Really happy to have her here. So I just want to hear from her, kind of what she, her thoughts are and message out there on this particular project we have going on and, and the hike we did. Hi everyone. I just wanted to, to thank Leilani. Um, we had a beautiful day and a beautiful hike. Um, it's a great way to learn about our landscapes, to learn about our stories as Blackfeet people and to also support our local businesses 
and um, and so we had a fantastic day. We're just now nearing the end of our hike and we had some nice weather, a little bit of rain, um, but we got to sit down and just talk about the Blackfoot World View, um, do some sightings, look around at some plants and mountains, um, see some, I think we've seen an eagle. And so beautiful day. If you get an opportunity, please support their business. <laughs> Thanks, Carla. To be this richness, unless it's an indigenous conference, but it's going to be Blackfoot specific. And part of that goal is sometimes we we say indigenous research, or we say you know indigenous ways of knowing. But each tribe has their unique, unique link, their unique life way, and so trying to preserve that tribe's um, unique pathway, life way, the ability to move across land. It's Mad Wolf Mountain. There is the entrance into Glacier Park. It's so beautiful up here. There's a hawk or a eagle down there. Shanley's here. Oh my god! <laughs> my name is Shanley and I'm here with my favorite pecanis who hunt for imuitapi and say okay and <laughs> yeah. we're having a sukapi day. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Language <Sorry>. speaker! <laughs> hey, that's all you're gonna say? <laughs> what in the world? Let's visit our first guest here. Hey, Danny Gavin from Helena, Montana. So, why did you want to come on this hike today, the Sasquatch anti-hike? Uh, me and my wife watch a lot of the videos, and you and Carrie Lynn just have such good vibes, and we knew we'd have a great time, and nice. sure enough did. Awesome. Well, we got to learn a lot about the culture, and hear some great stories. Nice. So, we're really awesome. thankful that you invite us out here, and take such good care of us. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. Well, the day's not over. Thanks. Still got a ways to go. Hi everybody. It's uh, Carrie Lynn here and I just want to introduce our guest. Um, her name is Julie. Hi. And she's been on the Sasquatch hike with us today. So Julie, how'd you enjoy the hike? This has been wonderful. It's been amazing and beautiful and interesting and I've learned so much. Thanks for having us. Well, we enjoyed having you. Um, also, we want to say is um, they are subscribers to Begunny Bigfoot Storytelling Project. They found yes! us. Yes. <laughs> they found us on YouTube. <laughs> yes. And they started watching the videos, and then they saw the ad for the fundraiser hike on Instagram, and here they are. So it's that easy. <laughs> so come on out because it is worth it. It is so beautiful, and you're gonna learn all the things and you can ask questions yep one another guest here with us and it's kind of unique how she came about us and found us um she's yet to watch our channel <laughs> but she is to. a bigfoot enthusiast and really unique and and fun the way she found us and has joined our sasquatch anti-hike and so we're gonna hear from her if you want to just say your name hi i'm emma jane um and yeah, I just saw this on Facebook. I just got to this area a few days ago. So I'm looking for things to do and I saw this and I was like, this is perfect. And it's been super fun um, meeting Lonnie and other cool people and learning stuff. We got some good weather, getting some rain right now, but it's all right. And um, yeah, it's been really beautiful, really fun. It's been really a, a lot of fun and um, we've been fun just sharing our story, sharing kind of what we've been doing as far as our research. Back to 1924 when the park was first starting to open and they were bringing in tourists and stuff like that. There was a couple brothers, I think they were out. So I'm reading this book called The Project and it is um, 
Gabe colitis and so we'll share about Gabe colitis. They're not just missing just the normal profile of a missing person. They're all really wild and unique. Like it doesn't fit the normal profile of a missing person. So he lived on the Hoopa reservation for two years and worked with the tribe there, their Bigfoot research. But anyway, he um, he said, and then he said, some park rangers began to get a hold of him and began to tell him about these disappearance, strange disappearances that were happening in our parks. He said, and, and these um, park rangers, they said the park is not talking about it. The national parks will not talk about these these disappearances that are happening because. Of course, they don't want to scare. They kind of keep it really hush-hush on these really strange disappearances that they have. There's no logical explanation to what happened to these people. And a lot of times, they're there. Somebody will turn, look back, and that person's gone. And when the people tell them that's what happened, you know, they, they don't really put that out to the public of how these people are coming up. I'm missing and some some people don't take it serious you know they just think it's the park everybody's out you know but he always tells people when you go out always be alert you know always watch your children you know because you'll go into the park and you'll see people just let their kids run way ahead uh -huh. you know and they could just go around the corner you get around the corner and that mm -hmm. child's gone and, you know, in some of his stories, that's what has happened. You know, the you know a little bit more than just talking about Bigfoot. We've been doing some really fun kind of supernatural stories and um, our old ways stories. Really have a nice group out here today. So. We were on top of the mountain just talking, visiting oh, for a little bit. We had that yes. no wind and just like sunshine. So yeah. beautiful. That was a really special moment. That, that was. was a really special moment when we were sitting up there just sharing with one another. Yeah.